Hey, good morning and good day to all of you. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is for Thursday, October 1st. Yay, we're first day of October. And we actually have our uh, Invest 91L that just formed up. It has a central pressure of 1,008 millibars. It has maximum winds of 22 miles per hour. And it is moving 18 miles per hour to the west. Uh, this yellow, this, sorry, this red here is a five-day uh, forecast that we have for where this is going to be. This yellow is the five-day forecast for Delta. Now, that's what I'm going to show you is a five-day forecast. If you want to see past that, you got to go see the video I put out late last night. Because I am showing that the dry air is going to just smash these systems. Now, here's your spaghetti models for where it's predicted to go uh, from the official forecast. And you can see that also there is one model showing it going uh, towards Louisiana. That's because it's going to end up in the Gulf. But the dry air is going to kill that. And if it moves later, there's even more a dry air that's going to move in that's going to kill it even worse. So let me get you to the forecast. Let me show you what I can show you. Now, if I put it on uh, the 10 meter winds, you can see exactly uh, what the impacts are going to be from this storm. And I'll just go up to the next 10 days, uh, which is 240 hours. That way you can see a little further. Nope, nope. I told you, I told you I was going to do five days. So I'm going to show you the next five days. Uh, if you want to see further than the next five days, just go to the video from last night and you'll see everything that I put up. Now, all these winds that you're seeing are all just tropical storm winds. That's, that's at the most. And I got to move in pretty quick so we can see. But this is on the third. 8:41 a.m. is showing that it will be a tropical storm and if you watch closely you'll notice that that's the best and biggest of the sparks that we're going to get out of this system actually i found that some pieces will break off and give uh, some 20 miles per hour winds and some storms hitting the west side of florida but it's not going to win the fight and it's going to it's going to circle back to the central gulf now when it does that the dry air is going to move in and you see these little sparks the dry air is going to move in and just smother and cover this thing. So it's still a tropical storm at this, this point. That's the most that it gets to. And then it moves to the central. And this is about as it you're going to see for the five days. That's it. That's the five days. And what I've shown is that it goes to the east a little bit. It gives some winds and some rain to the western Florida. But then it moves right into the central gulf. And then when it moves into the central gulf, it gets more organized and then the, the dry air moves in, moves it east, chokes it around, and kills this thing. It's not going to be more than a tropical storm at best, guys. And then we have the delta that's moving up that will be a tropical storm soon. Now, if you want to see what's going on past the five days, you got to go watch the other video. This one is just for the five-day outlook so everybody can see exactly what's going on uh, within the next five days. Uh, I show that the energy also swings around and it goes towards Mexico City. So that is a big possibility with a lot of these models. Only one shows it that it continues to go up north. And you got to find a center of circulation on this on this uh, storm because it is very elongated and, it, and the rain bands are reaching way out. So that don't mean that it is it's going to be right here in the central gulf, just so you all know. It could very well be right there. And these are the, the rain bands that you're seeing uh, lash out with a little bit of tropical storm force winds every now and then and then go back to a tropical depression but this will be moving towards mexico city and leave it on a little bit of a of a higher note uh we do have matter of fact our our uh, winter storm season is finally starting we have the names came in this morning from the weather channel they have made their list for the 2020 and 2021 winter storm names and there we go that's what we're going to have, guys. That's going to be our names for this season. Do you think that we're going to get past this, this name list? Or that is, is about as far as it's going to go? You tell me. I'm curious what you think. I'm showing some places it's going to have above average in the north as far as the rain, the snowfall. And it's going to be warmer in the south for this whole season. So we got to see it. It all depends who you go by. Now I'm going to pick up right where I left off. Yesterday was Genesis 19. I'm sorry, it was 20, and today is going to be 21. And remember, if you want to see past the five days, watch the video from last night. You'll see it. I'll put it in, in great detail about the dry air. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, 
and the and for the and for Sarah conceived. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the same time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, who Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. Can you imagine that? And Sarah said, God hath made me to laugh, so that all that, that hear will laugh with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given uh, children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned. And Abraham was a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which she had borne unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall, shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman, and all that Sarah hath said unto thee. Hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat down over against him in a good way off, as it were a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat against him and lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. And the angel of God called the Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What aileth thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Arise, lift up the lad, and told him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. And his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Fishel, the chief captain of of his host spake unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee and all that thou doest. Now therefore swear unto me hereby God that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, nor with my son, nor with my son's son, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I will, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a well of water which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I will not who hath done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet heard, heard I of it, but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made a covenant. And Abraham set seven ewe lambs of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven ewe lambs? which thou hast set by themselves. And he said, For these seven new lambs shalt thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me that I have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Beersheba, because they, were, they swear both of them. Thus they made a covenant at Beersheba. Then Abimelech rose up, and Fishel, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba and called there on the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham sojourned into the Philistine lands many days. Amen. Well, God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day. This is the five-day forecast. It will be Tropical Storm Gamma. And that's probably about as far as this storm's going to get. But uh, if you want to see further, go check out the other video. Have a great day, guys. I appreciate you all for watching. God bless. 
all glory does go to God. Amen.